scream and shout for Lewis Costello. Oh. Oh, God. Well, I am only a young stand-up. I'm 16, actually. And uh, it's not easy being 16, because you get people, don't you? Sometimes who just say, I wish I was young again, and you're lucky to be your age. Bollocks. It's not easy anymore, because it really isn't. You've got coursework, GCSEs. <laughs> it's serious. It's hard. Coursework, GCSEs, Gary Glitter. Oh. <laughs> all major problems in the youth community and I'm a favourite with these uh, celebrity paedophiles I work, I work the circuit I don't have a job, it's easy but that, that's how I make my money and uh, it's because I've always been more mature than my age in more ways than one like I've, I had a moustache when I was 13 true story I had my first pubic hair when I was 5 fair enough, they were my uncles and they were in my teeth but they were still pubic hairs a lot more mature than my age though. It comes with a bit of cyn cynicism as well, I find, because uh, I see things and they just fucking annoy me. Like TV adverts, you'll have all seen this. Hit me at 13, there's an 80% chance I'll live. Hit me at 40, there's an 80% chance I'll die. But with that voice, fair enough, I can kill her. But my problem with it is, <laughs> my problem with it is, I can't be the only person who saw that advert, took the information, used it to work out that you need to hit her at 50 for a smooth kill. <laughs> I am young. It's, it's, it's good though because I can be cheeky and get away with little things like I was doing stand up in uh, New York and we went to McDonald's and there was a bathroom and uh, there was a sign up that said wet floor. Uh, so I did. Uh, I pissed on the floor. That's a true story as well and they didn't find me so I'm quite proud of myself. Um, I did actually go to New York though. It's a fucking lovely place. Because pe some people, you might have like a stereotype of what you think an American would be but uh, Really, for the most part, they're quite uh, intelligent. And then I went, I went to uh, a t-shirt store, though. This, I swear to God, this is true. I went to a t-shirt store in New York, and there was four racks of t-shirts. The lowest rack, NFL players, National Football League. Rack above that, movie and TV uh, references. Rack above that, I love New York t-shirts. And rack above that was uh, heroes, like people who've influenced culture. And uh, if you don't believe me, I'll tell you the first four people. And I swear to God, this is true. There was Che Guevara. Then there was Gandhi, then there was Martin Luther King, and then, of course, Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> I swear to God that was true. I think you all know you don't belong on that list. Because Gandhi's shit. <laughs> no, he was too old, he didn't do nothing for me. I don't like him. Gandhi was old though, wasn't he? He was far too old. Old people just piss me off, but most of them do anyway. Have you ever noticed? We old people, as soon as they hit 65, they stop laughing and they start pelting air at you. Because with my granddad, when he was 64, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. When he was 65, <laughs> <laughs> that's just one of the and they laugh. The other one they do is where they don't make a noise and they just look uh, as happy as they can and they just point to the air and take a bow like. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? If you're gonna laugh, laugh. You know what I mean? You can't knock old people though, can you? Because they're all nice and they bake cakes and they go to church and stuff like that. I don't even believe in Jesus. I don't think he did miracles and nothing like that, but still, you still got to respect him because I think Jesus chants shy. You know um, that, um, what was it? It was a miracle. Feeding of the 5,000. Jesus feeds 5,000 people with a loaf of bread and a fish. A few problems I have with that. One, how big was the fish? He doesn't say that. Could be a whale. I know, I know whales and mammals, but Jesus was magical. Second problem. Second problem with this story is bread and fish don't even go together. If he was the Messiah, he would have had the bread on the first day, saved the fish till the next day. Maybe if he was that magical, he could have invented a toaster. I don't know. Because everybody loves toast. Have the fish the next day. Third problem, he had to be a bit arrogant to do a head count to make sure there was 5,000 people there. Last problem, you can tell our thoughts about it now. It, the Bible story doesn't account for people who didn't want any. And if, if there's like 5,000 people there and there's just a guy wearing a duvet with long hair and a beard coming up to you asking if you want some bread and fish, you're not going to fall for that, are you? Because that's clearly a prehistoric rape attempt. <laughs> well, fair enough, we've evolved to like dairy milks and shit, but it's still, a, still the same thing, isn't it? But uh, yeah, maybe if he was offering a tube of Smarties, I would go for it. Assuming Jesus is a rapist, just bear with me. <laughs> if, it, if, he was, if he was offering uh, a tube of Smarties, I'd take it. If he was offering a doner kebab, I'd take it, because both of them are fucking delicious, and I'm happy to get raped for it, as I said. <laughs> but 
you've got to make your money. I've, I've been with glitter, I'm fine, Jesus, nothing. But, what I would say, how many people have had a Donna kebab in here? How many haven't? Sickening. <laughs> Disgusting. If you have never had a Donna kebab, it is the dog's bollocks with some lettuce inside, inside a bit of a pit of <laughs> Oh, I hate myself. <laughs> no, I do like Donny Kebabs. It's, it's my takeaway of choice now, if I'm being honest. It used to be pizza, but something happened. I'll tell you this, I'll leave you with this now. Um, a new Domino's pizza opened up near my house, and uh, I whizzed past it and I wrote down the number, and I rang it up that night. And so, so the phone call basically went, Hello, hi, I come to me, meet please, please, yeah, where do you live? Phone down. Got the wrong number. So. If we were just to rewind on the conversation. Hello, can I have a 12 inch meat feast, please? <laughs> yes, where do you live? <laughs> Never did get that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I met Gary Glitter, though. True story. <laughs> Thanks very much. Cheers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Luis Costello! Marvellous.